Well, a 60 million euro sell of Fabinho from Liverpool to Real Madrid is anticipated. That is really a shocker. One of the best central defensive midfielders in the world, though he's really having a abysmal season at Liverpool, is really considered up for sale. Then, Ngolo Kante contract extension at Chelsea. It's very much confusing because now you really find yourself into a discombobulation because you ask yourself, what is the game plan? Of Chelsea, what is the transfer plan of Chelsea? Letting Jorginho go that is old, and now you are adding another 31 year old a contract of close to even very, very many years from now. Welcome to Rokani Media Football. How are you guys? And where you're watching us from, I go by the names of Rokan David. Smash the like button, comment, and share. If I told you you're watching us for the very first time, lower right bottom corner is the place to be. Smash the black button that has the word subscribe. I'm just smashing it. Hit the notification bell that will enable you to get notified every time I upload a video on this channel. We are talking about Thiago Silva having walked off the pitch on the game of Tottenham Hotspur that saw Spurs beat beat Chelsea by two goals to nil. He has really been confirmed injured, and the period that is going to spend out of action has been revealed by the physios of Chelsea. Now, let's start off with this N'Golo Kante story. N'Golo Kante. Chelsea have agreed a contract extension with N'Golo Kante until 2026 with an option of a further year until 2027. The last details are being ironed out before it's made official. Now, this is Santi Awona working in for Maketo. Um, I'm really surprised about this. How can a team give a player who is like 31 years of age, 31, 32 years of age, a contract of three years? Why? would they even try to give Ngolo Kante a contract of that long? Because he's 31 years of age, injury prone, and they are giving him a contract for such a long period of time. And I don't know who's really running this club of Chelsea because he's making very stupid decisions, according to me. There is no way you give a player 31 years of age a contract of three to four years. No way. And Ngolo Kante earns a lot of money. Unless others are going to take a pay cut, but I think even if he takes a pay cut, that doesn't align with the plan of the club. The plan of the club is simple. They want young players. Now, why would you keep Ngolo Kante up to this club? After letting Jorginho go to Arsenal, the reason, the reason being given for him leaving is he was not in the plans of the club. The club want, wants, new, wants new young talent. And is Ngolo Kante a new young talent? That's out. He's not at all. So I think the plan of Chelsea is not yet clear. And with the performances going on at the club, it looks like the owners are really lacking direction. And they are now trying to revisit their plan to see that they can really accommodate the young and the old. Because you can't thrive when you're only having the young. You can't thrive when you're only having the old. Meaning that a mixture is really important. When you look at clubs like Manchester City, they're having Kevin De Bruyne, they're having Ika Gundogan. They are in their early thirties. You get Virgil Van? No, not Virgil Van Dijk. Mm, which other player is within that age? I think Ederson Molares and very many others. They are they are having some bit of experience in them, and they are having those young players, the Julian Alves, Erin Haaland. So it's very easy to anticipate the future of the club like Man City, but teams like Chelsea are really out of solutions. And I think they've gotten to know that we need to tie N'Golo Kante on a longer contract because Kante had told them that he's going to live out on a free this summer if at all they don't give him a three-year deal. And obviously, very many teams were up for N'Golo Kante, but he's injury-prone, guys. He last played a game of football in, was it September? Ever since then, he has never really played a game of football, but he's re he returned to training, I think, like two weeks back. I don't know why he's not yet made it to the match squads of Chelsea ever since his return. So let's wait and see how that is going to go. But a contract has been rewarded to N'Golo Kante, and they want him to stay at Chelsea. Now, this Fabinho story, having had a very bad spell at Liverpool this season and Bajetic has been one of those players that have been featuring a lot more than him. Fichages coming in from Spain have told us that Real Madrid are interested in signing Fabinho and Liverpool may be willing to part 
with the midfielder to fund a move for Jude Bellingham. The Brazilian is valued at 70 million euros. Now, if you ask me, should Liverpool let Fabinho go? I can say yes and no because of my points. <laughs> One, I say yes if at all they are going to get a replacement for him because Judy Bellingham is not a central defensive midfielder. Unless otherwise, the manager has really got into that Bajeti can do that role very, very well. But can he compete with the likes of Casemiro for Manchester United, Thomas Partey and Eugenio for Arsenal, uh, Enzo Fernandez for Chelsea <coughs> and uh, Rodri for Man City? Because those are the players we're going to be facing next season when Fabinho is away. I say no because I believe every player has a very bad spell. And with what he has been, with what he has gone ahead to achieve at Liverpool, I think it's better to keep him a little bit more longer to see it that he doesn't really go. And when you see that Real Madrid are interested in him, it shows you that there is a lot of potential in this Fabinho guy. And Real Madrid lost Casemiro to Manchester United and they brought in Xiomini. But they believe that they need another reinforcer in that central defense midfield position. However, much Valverde is doing the job, but I think Fabinho, for the past two, three years, he has been one of the best CDMs in the world. And I think the world has been keeping good eyes onto this man. So, as it stands for me, a hundred percent believe Fabinho for sale. I'm still doubting it. And I don't see him leaving Liverpool for now. Because if you lose Fabinho, that means you will need a replacement of Fabinho. Does Liverpool have that money to go on and really spend however much they called for a 300 million pound spell? Sorry, spending spree in the summer by the manager. We wait and see how that is going to unfold for Fabinho. But he's a very good midfielder. I mean, he's him having a very nasty season. I believe he's one of those that you'll go all out and think about when you really want to get a reinforcement for your midfield. So Fabinho and Liverpool, Fichages is trading us that they're going to part ways. 70 million euros up for Fabinho sell. So lastly, let's talk about a player called called Thiago Silva. Thiago Silva saw himself get injured over the weekend when they are playing Tottenham Hotspur and they lost by two goals to nil. And Niza Kinsella, a Chelsea correspondent for Standard Sport, has confirmed us that Thiago Silva is expected to be out up to six weeks. And after him putting out that story, even a statement was issued from the west side of Chelsea and it read, Having sustained any injury during the first half of Sunday's match against Tottenham Hotspur, Thiago Silva underwent further assessment and a scan of his return to the training center on Monday. They told us that scan results from those assessments have confirmed damage to Thiago Silva's knee ligament and he will now work closely with the club's medical department during his rehabilitation to return to action as soon as possible. A very huge blow. And six weeks without Thiago Silva just exposes Chelsea to a situation of lack of leadership at the back of that central defense. Buddy Shield, Fofana, and Koulibaly are now left into that mix to come up and really get that job done and dusted. But can they handle? Because before Thiago Silva got off the field of play, they had, they had not considered any goal. No sooner had he left than they considered. So it shows you the importance of Thiago Silva. His experience is really great and good. It does loads of importance to that back four of Chelsea. And I believe now there is no way Koulibaly is not going to be playing in these games. It's going to be Koulibaly and Wesley Fofana, the £75 million defender they bought from Leicester City. And he's trying to really force himself to the team. So as it stands... It's all bad news for these teams, but let's wait and see how everything is going to happen at Chelsea and Liverpool. So your thoughts on the Fabinho 70 million sale are welcome in the comment section below. Would you sanction the move to happen? Then Golo Kante new deal. Would you give him a new deal after letting Jorginho go to Arsenal? Putting it out there that he's really old and uh, Chelsea's project is really changing. Would you give Kante a new deal? of three to four years when he's 31 and lastly your thoughts on to Thiago Silva out do you think Chelsea are really going to survive the humiliation 
of their being attacked left and center without experienced central defender as Thiago Silva. All that and more into the comment section below. I sign out for now. See you later. May the Almighty Lord bless you abundantly today. Bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm out. First video of the day. More is yet to come.